Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be building an ITX PC that will be using an engineering sample 5th generation CPU. This CPU has been adapted from a BGA CPU to LGA and so it needs some spacers to be installed under the socket because the CPU is a bit thicker than a normal Intel CPU. I'll be using a Lenovo OEM CPU heatsink and it uses this back plate that needed to be modified a bit to use it with a normal motherboard. This motherboard is a cheap H97 chipset motherboard with this engineering sample 5th gen CPUs you will need either Z97 or H97 motherboard. This graphics card that I'm cleaning here is an HP OEM Arax 460. This can be sometimes found quite cheap second hand. I initially planned to use this GPU for this build. A normal CPU fan would just be right against the power supply in the Lian Li ITX case that I'm using, so I'll be using this blower fan instead. This motherboard comes without any VRM cooling, so I installed these cheap heat sinks on the VRMs before mounting the cooler. This build will have Wi-Fi. I'll be installing this Intel M.2 Wi-Fi card and I'll be using this Intel 500GB NVMe SSD. This will be an all SSD build. This 500GB SSD will hopefully be enough and an HDD wouldn't possibly even fit in the case. At this point I did a test boot and got no picture from this graphics card. I decided to try a different card. I tried this Sapphire Arax 470D and that worked without problems. I decided to just use the Arax 470D for this build and I swapped the single slot bracket from the old GPU because this case needs a single slot graphics card. I needed to take the two front USB ports off because the GPU is too long otherwise. I needed to cut the blower fan a little to get it to fit inside the ITX case. I set the blower fan to blow the hot air out the back of the computer. It's on top of the IO shield. There's a convenient grill for it to exhaust the air in the case. And I needed to take the SSD and Wi-Fi adapter off to install the antennas on the Wi-Fi adapter. For the PSU I'll be using Seasonic 430 watt power unit. It's a second hand one and a bit dirty but it'll do the job. Since I needed to take the two USB 2.0 ports off for the GPU to fit, I'll be installing this USB 3 and SD card reader front panel. This will also have a USB-C port which should help 
future proof this PC a bit. I mounted one of the antennas on the side panel that the motherboard is mounted on. Because this antenna is metallic, it's important to not let it touch the back of the motherboard and short it out. I put the motherboard I.O. backplate on place and installed the other Wi-Fi antenna on the front metallic panel of the case. With antennas placed like this the Wi-Fi works, but the range isn't that big. My antenna placement isn't maybe ideal. Maybe the panels working as antennas should not be connected to each other, but should be isolated instead or something. I don't know if you have any tips. I'd be glad to hear. Anyway, the build is now only missing the graphics card. Installing that was not simple. Actually, I needed to take the PSU out to get the graphics card to just barely fit in there. By the way, I tested the HP RX 460 with another computer and it works perfectly. It seems that there is some weird issue with this engineering sample CPUs. I also had issues with another engineering sample CPUs. In my benchmark video, in which I tested four of these CPUs, this particular CPU included. In that video, some of the engineering sample CPUs refused to work with an RX 480 while they worked with another one that should be identical. This issue should be taken into account if you are interested in buying these engineering sample CPUs. If you're interested in this sketchy BGA to LGA engineering sample CPUs, I recommend checking that video out. In that video I test these CPUs with gaming benchmarks and other synthetic benchmarks. Windows 10 recognizes this CPU just as genuine Intel CPU 0000. CPU Z calls this CPU just Intel Core i7 and the BIOS calls it Bristol well. There's some results from 3D Mark Firestrike benchmark and Crystal Disk Mark SSD benchmark. The blower CPU fan seems to keep temps on check. Gaming performance of this CPU varies quite a bit from title to title. Fall Guys at medium settings runs ok without any issues. Running CSGO at low settings, 1080p resolution, there's no issues really, quite predictably, and the FPS ranges from 100 to 200. 
human fall flat should be a title that is not very demanding. I've had this running perfectly on a very low spec machines, but weirdly enough on this PC when you crank the settings to medium or high it begins to struggle quite a bit. Even with low settings, the FPS doesn't seem to stay on 60. So it looks like this CPU's gaming performance is kind of a hit or miss. In my benchmark video, the shadow of the Tomb Raider run quite effortlessly, but it seems to have problems with this game.